All right, so we're just going to continue doing another example of fluid kinematics. This time we'll talk about vorticity. And remember, vorticity was our del, uh, sorry, crossed, our del operator crossed with the velocity vector or the velocity uh, flow field. And in this question, they give us a velocity field um, equal to negative x, y cubed in the i plus y to the fourth in the j. Okay, and the question states, determine an expression for the vorticity of the flow field described by uh, this velocity vector. And they also ask us, is this flow field irrotational? And remember, for for a flow field to be irrotational, del cross v must be equal to zero, okay? That is the definition of irrotational flow. So let's split this up into components just to make things a little bit easier. We know vfx, the x component of this velocity field is negative xy cubed. Um, and then v of y, the y component of this velocity field is y to the fourth. Okay, those, those are our two components of the velocity field. v of z is zero, right? It's a two-dimensional flow. There's no z component. Um, let's, let's define, or actually we've, we've already defined that omega is our spin vector. And that's equal to the curl of the uh, velocity or vorticity. And we can actually define um, omega spin or the spin vector is equal to one half of del crossed with v, right? The Greek letter, uh, oh, that's funny. That's uh, lowercase zeta. Zeta is equal to twice the spin vector. Okay, this is also used for vorticity. Right, because vorticity is is just this, right? It's it's just del cross v. So twice the spin vector, or twice of this, is equal to del cross v. So. Um, uh, zeta is equal to del cross v. Okay, this is vorticity. Vorticity. So let's let's find out if this crossed with the or the del operator crossed with this velocity is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then the flow is irrotational. If it's not equal to zero, then it's it's not irrotational. Uh, so del cross v, that's going to be determinant, right? We'll have our i, j, k vectors, or unit vectors. Our del is the partial in respect to x, the partial in respect to y, the partial in respect to z. And our velocity is um, the components up here, right? So on the i, it'd be negative x, y cubed, and the j would be y to the fourth, and k would be zero, right? And if we solve, if we solve this out, we get, uh, here, I'll write it here, starting here. All of this is equal to the partial of v of z in respect to y, minus the partial of v of y in respect to z in the i plus um, the partial of v of x in respect to z minus the partial of v of z in respect to x in the j, okay, plus the partial of v of y in respect to x minus the partial of v of x in respect to y, k, okay? And so let's, let's just start plugging this in. The partial 
um, it would let, let's plug in the components that we we found up here. So these are those components we plug into this long equation or this this determinant, right? So it'd be the partial in respect to y of zero because v of z is zero uh, minus the partial. Um, in respect to z of y to the fourth, this is an i plus uh, this, which is the partial in respect to z of negative xy cubed minus the partial in respect to x of zero. Again, v of z is zero. Uh, j. Uh, let's see if I can squeeze this in here. Um, the partial in respect to x of y to the fourth minus the partial in respect to y of uh, negative xy cubed. And this is in the k. Okay. So let, let's solve this out. For the i component, well, the partial in respect to y of 0 is 0 minus the partial of y to the fourth in respect to z is uh, also 0. So here we get 0 minus 0 in the i, right? Plus, uh, let's figure let's figure out this. The partial in respect to z of negative xy cubed. Well, that's 0 because there's no z term. This entire thing's a constant. Uh, the partial in respect to x of 0, that's, that's also 0. Plus, okay, so we're doing good so far, 0, 0. And remember, um, the only way this can be uh, incompressible uh, or irrotational, or the only way this can be irrotational is if del cross v is equal to zero. So if all three of the terms here are equal to zero. Lastly, the partial in respect to x of y to the fourth, well, that's zero, uh, minus, uh, what do we have here? The partial partial in respect to y of negative x y cubed. Well that's that's a negative 3x y squared. Okay, in the k. And so our final answer is 0 plus 0 plus, well here it's 3x y squared in the k. Okay? So this is our vorticity. And uh, let's let's answer the question: uh, Is this flow irrotational? And remember, for this field or for this flow to be irrotational, del cross v must be equal to zero. Okay, this is irrotational flow. Well, here we didn't get zero. We got something. We got three x y to the squared. So in conclusion, this this flow field is um, not irrotational.